Hello friends, welcome to Photoshop video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorials, we understood Photoshop UI elements or UI components. We understood the menu bar, we understood the option bar, we understood toolbar, we understood panels, we understood the document area. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss Photoshop screen modes and UI visibility. Once you get used to Photoshop application, you might feel that you need more document area for working. You need more document area for working. How do you get more document area? Here comes the use of Photoshop screen modes. Let me minimize the document. I double click on Photoshop icon to launch the Photoshop application. You can see that the Photoshop application got open. I go to file, I go to open and I locate for the file that I want to open. I want to open this file, I click on it, then I click on the open button. You can see that the file got open in the document area. One of the important thing you need to observe is the document is surrounded by various Photoshop UI elements. On the left hand side we have toolbar, on the top option bar, right side we have panels and the bottom also we have one panel here, you can see that. There is a very less area associated with the document area for working purpose at present. For example, if I click on the hand tool, now the hand tool is active and I click and drag the image, you can see that the image is not getting moved. If I click and drag, you can see that the image is not getting moved because there is a very less space for the document area. As I told, one or another day you feel that I need more document area for working purpose. I think you might feel I want to hide these panels, I want to hide the toolbar, maybe I want to hide the option bar. How do you get more document area? One way is you can go to the window menu and hide all the windows and whenever you need, make them visible. But that's a time consuming operation, right? So instead of that, Photoshop provides various ways. You can get more document area by taking help of Photoshop screen modes. Photoshop screen modes affect visibility of Photoshop UI components. Especially screen modes help to get more document or file area friends for better productivity. Where do you get the screen modes? If you go to the view menu, go to screen mode command, you get a sub menu containing list of screen modes. So Photoshop provides three screen modes. They are standard screen mode, which is a default screen mode, full screen mode with menu bar and full screen mode. Let's go to Photoshop. And if you go to the view menu, go to screen mode, you can find a sub menu with list of screen modes. First one is a standard screen mode. Next one is a full screen mode with menu bar and then full screen mode. You can switch from one screen mode to another screen mode by selecting any one of it. For example, in the standard screen mode, you can see here everything is visible. You can see menu bar, option bar, toolbar and panels as well as the document area and document area is surrounded by various other Photoshop UI elements. If I click on the view menu, go to screen mode, click on the screen mode with menu bar. You can see that the screen mode changed. At present, the hand tool is active. If I click and drag the image, you can see now the image is getting moved. I click and drag, you can see that the image is getting moved. Also, you can observe that image is now in a full screen mode. You can't see the window title here. You don't see the file title, right? But in the full screen mode with menu bar, you can see the menu bar visible. You have access to all panels and also you have more work area. You have more document area. If I go to the view menu, click on screen mode, click on full screen mode, what happens? Photoshop gives a message to us that in full screen mode, panels are hidden. That means these panels are going to get hide. They can be accessed on the sides of the screen. Of course, if you move the mouse cursor to the sides, to the left or to the right, you get these panels revealed or revealed by pressing the tab key. Even you can use the tab key to see the panels. While in the full screen mode, you can return to standard screen mode by pressing the F key or escape key. Okay, now we have two buttons to choose whether we have to go to full screen mode or we don't want cancel. I want to go to full screen mode. So I click on the full screen button. You can see now we are in full screen mode. The image is displayed full screen. Menu bar is not visible. Option bar is not visible. You can see that and toolbar and panels are hidden 
If you want to reveal the toolbar, you just move the mouse cursor to the left side of the window. You can see toolbar is now revealed or visible. If you come out, automatically the toolbar is hidden. If I go to the right hand side, you can see that I get the panels, all panels and if I come out, the panels are hidden. That is how you can reveal the toolbar and various panels. But you can't get the menu bar and the option bar, you can see that even though I move the mouse cursor towards up. That is about full screen mode. If I have to go back to the standard screen mode, either I can press the F key or I can press the escape key. So I press the escape key to go back to the standard screen mode. So you can see that again the document area is less and it is surrounded by various other panels. You can not only get access to the standard screen mode, full screen mode with menu bar and full screen mode in the view menu. There is a tool created for you guys on the tool bar. Here at the bottom, you can see tool group. In that, various tools are there. If I right click on it, you can see it is showing standard screen mode, full screen mode with menu bar and full screen mode. So you can click here also. If you click on full screen mode with menu bar, you can see that we are now in full screen mode with menu bar. Similarly, I right click on the screen mode. I go to full screen mode here and I say yes, full screen mode. You can see now we are in full screen mode. If I press the escape key, I'm back to the standard screen mode. Similarly, we can use the F key to switch from one screen mode to another screen mode because F key is the key associated with the screen mode. So if I press the F key, we switch to full screen mode with menu bar. If I press the F key, now we are moved to the full screen mode. In the full screen mode, we get the complete desktop for working purpose as a document area. I press the F key to come back to the standard screen mode. So you can loop through the screen modes by using the F key. So Photoshop provides three screen modes and standard screen mode, full screen mode with menu bar, full screen mode and the F key is the shortcut key for looping through these screen modes. There are few key combinations which we use with respect to screen modes. One is the tab key. So if you just press the tab key, you can hide and display option bar, toolbar and all panels in one step. If I go to the Photoshop, if I press the tab key, check out what happens. I'm pressing the tab key. You can see toolbar is hidden, option bar is hidden as well as all panels are hidden. It's not the meaning that I don't have access to the toolbar. If I go again to the left hand side, the toolbar will get visible. If I move the mouse cursor to the right hand side, still I have access to all panels, right? If I press tab key again, I get the toolbar, option bar and all panels visible again. So that's the use of tab key. Tab key hides toolbar, option bar, all panels. Tab key brings them back. Next key combination is shift plus tab key. So shift plus tab key, if you use, it hides and displays only panels. So let's go to the Photoshop. This time I hold down the shift key and press the tab key. You can see it has hidden all panels. Now I have more work area. You can see that I have more document area. If I press again, shift tab key, I get the panels. Shift tab key to hide the panels. It's not the meaning that the panels we don't get access to. If I move the mouse cursor to the right hand side, I get all the panels and I come back. The panels are hidden. Shift tab to bring them back. These key combinations will work in any screen mode. For example, if I go to the view menu, select the screen mode, I go to the full screen mode and I click on full screen button. Here I can press the shift tab to see the panels, shift tab to hide the panels. If I press the tab key, I get toolbar, I get option bar, menu as well as panels. If I press the tab key again, all of them are hidden. If I press tab key, I get them back. If I press the F key, I go to the standard screen mode. This is how you can hide, show the various UI elements independently, friends. Hope you guys have understood how to use Photoshop screen modes and what is the meaning of UI visibility, how it is beneficial to get more document area for better productivity. For this tutorial, this much is enough, friends. In the next tutorial, we get more information on Photoshop. For more benefits and be updated, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.